Hi, my name is Claire Bouchard and I am a mountain bike athlete, um, a, a coach and brand ambassador for many amazing brands that support me. Um, some of the uh, achievements that I am very proud of are um, some really great World Cup results, podiums and a uh, bronze medal at the World Championships in 2011 in Champery. Um, craziest conditions but a lot of a lot of my favorite achievements are just you know a lot of cool meaningful um, coaching projects and media projects that I've been lucky enough to be involved in um, these days that's kind of stuff that means more to me than you know results and I, I totally respect that and I've been there did I did always eat health healthy like I was always health conscious I basically just eat fruits and vegetables and I get all my protein from, from leafy greens and um, you know sometimes like nuts and seeds uh, and I eat a lot like you can ask all my friends <laughs> I eat all the time I'm like not starving and I feel so good like I've never felt better in my life pack in some snacks because I'm <clears throat> I really like my snacks yeah if I don't have my snacks I can get hangry it doesn't look very good but it's very good da -da -da -da. out to do her business we've had a pretty good winter so I'll just switch to ski mode for a bit and and embrace the winter because otherwise you're just miserable the whole time L lately um, trails have opened up in Squamish stuff's melted out so so today we get to go and sample the dirt oh there she goes <laughs> doing her doing her business well that was a big one Woo, good girl yeah so it's a great day to be alive and we're heading down to Squamish I'm wearing sunglasses I've got my dog and my bike in the back do I really do mean that I that it's a great day to be alive because I almost had that taken away from me. We were out driving on a country road and we went up over a blind crest and just like that a, a truck was heading towards us and that's all, all I really remember um, until I woke up again. Our carbon bikes were in the back of the car and um, absolutely it shattered in pieces. Like even, even the um, the crash investigators or whatever were were like shaking their head like wondering how I survived that one. It's almost been four or five years and uh, I'm still yeah definitely I'm in pain every day so it's it's really it's really challenging but um, like I said I I'm just I so so grateful to I survived like I, I survived and I and more like I have my limbs and everything so I kind of um, I really uh, try to live like that and remember um, and just be grateful for every day and and just remember like how lucky I am to be doing what I'm doing Alaska is excited half an hour 40 minutes away and it's like a whole different season ahead <laughs> should be should be good dirt oh good spot <laughs> oh. Drink. Drink. good girl you stay out of there yeah i guess we're just gonna session this little piece of trail it's a good one for winter ready Let's go! Good girl! She's like nipping me! She's so excited! What? I wish I was as fast as her. It's kind of scary sometimes when she's chasing you. You're like, ah, she's coming. She's coming. Oh, 
it's not really like training. This is just kind of a, you know, it's a, it's a February day. So it's just kind of more like getting out for a ride and being out in the woods without all the snow. certain things that I'm pretty particular about on my bike and I just love these grips so yeah I'm testing out I've got two different compounds one on this side one on that side and uh, yeah it's kind of interesting to test them out in the winter when it's cold and with gloves without gloves it's fun I like testing stuff let's go we'll be going around that he hates bridges. Well, I don't think dogs like them very much because their paws can slip through the cracks and yeah, she doesn't like the skinnies. <laughs> She's smart. I'm not riding that, no. No thanks. Lasko won't even ride it. Banger! <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Woo! Oh, cool! This section's rad! Like, I don't ride this trail enough. And so I don't know it super well. I don't know, you just look ahead and... and see what's coming up and you just kind of learn to ride terrain and read it and know what you can kind of gap and and what lines will set you up for the next bit. I really like riding trails blind because with downhill racing you know every rock and route like you inspect the track and you you ride the same track over and over again and so it's really fun to just hit stuff blind or semi-blind and and kind of like navigate the train as it comes it's super fun that was so good so good and so needed woohoo good girl hopefully We'll have more of those days. Well, more frequent trips to the dirt from the depths of despair. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the depths of winter. I don't. I don't want to complain because it's rad for skiing. But but every once in a while, you got to leave the bubble and see the ground. <laughs> it's a simple thing, but you know it's important. Thanks for following along today, guys, and click here for more videos and click here to subscribe. Over.